In today's video, I thought it would be helpful to show you what I do for cleaning the kitchen on a weekly basis. So I've made a checklist and it just will pop it on the screen here. It's gonna be in the description if you would like to T uh, download it and use it on your phone and check off alone your clean every week but basically I'm just gonna start with emptying the dishwasher and another thing that I didn't mention on this list but that I do on a weekly is I clean the dishwasher filter so I have a whole video on how to deep clean your dishwasher so I'll link that one below in case you're unsure how to clean the filter I don't do the full deep clean I just rinse off the filter quickly on a weekly so it doesn't get as bad as it was in that how-to video so emptying the dishwasher is the best place to start because then you can empty your sink the dishwasher is empty I'm gonna go through the fridge and pull out all the old leftovers and either dump them compost them or just decide basically whether or not we're gonna eat it or if it's gone bad and then that way I can put all of those dishes into the dishwasher before I start it and that's gonna help me later on when I go to wipe out the fridge to load the dishwasher with everything else, all of the dishes in the sink. And I also go through the whole house at this point and kind of make sure I have all the dishes. And if there's any extra room, I'm gonna go and look for those odd items that you might forget to wash. For example, we have glass toothbrush holders. Those need to be washed. Little things like that, that you don't think of on a daily. So on this particular day, I did have a full load of dishes already, so I did wash some by hand, but you can kind of see how the order of everything kind of feeds into the next thing. So after this, the sink will be empty, so I'll be able to scrub it down. But if you don't already have a set routine for your kitchen, I highly suggest looking at how you're prioritizing things. For example, I wouldn't go ahead and empty all of the old leftover containers from the fridge after I clean the sink because chances are you're gonna have to wash those out or put them in the dishwasher or whatever. So. I really suggest looking at that and your life will be a lot easier when it comes to cleaning efficiently. food stoppers for the sink they actually come apart and you can scrub them down and a lot of food gets stuck inside so just double check yours and make sure that you have wiped them down because it gets pretty gross and kind of smelly scrubbing the sink and I'm using Vim. I only use this on a weekly basis. I usually use baking soda and dish soap, but I do find the Vim really gets off those tough stains. So I try to limit the amount of chemicals I'm using, but if anyone has a suggestion for something that is natural but stronger than baking soda and dish soap, I am all ears. And now I am moving over to the coffee maker and I am taking everything out of it so I can wash each piece. And then I am wiping down the stainless with my Miss Myers all-purpose cleaner and just getting everything ready for the week ahead of coffee. This is such an important part of my day. So it makes me a lot happier in the morning when I'm looking at a sparkling clean coffee maker instead of a huge mess that I have to deal with.
This is probably the most satisfying job I find for cleaning the kitchen, and that's just simply wiping down the counters. So I'm using that same all-purpose cleaner by Myers. It's the basil scent if anyone is looking for a good spring scent. So I'm wiping down all the counters. I usually use my instant hot on like my instant hot tap on the dishcloth so it's really nice and steamy and then I feel like it gets it even cleaner. During this time, you can also clean your backsplash. I didn't on this particular day because I had just done it after we had a little bit of a crock pot mishap. So anyway, I had already done that, but that is definitely a weekly thing I do. And if you see me talking right now, I'm just talking to my friend. She was on FaceTime. So I do tend to either watch something or talk to people as I'm cleaning. So apologies if that's distracting. down to the cupboards and the stainless steel so to clean my cupboards I just use hot water and a cap full of Zaflora I am I feel like I should be sponsored by Zaflora since I suggest it so much but basically it's a disinfectant from the UK I'll link it below if you're interested it is so amazing and then for my stainless steel I am using the Scotch Guard stainless steel cleaner which I really really like and it's taken me a while to find a stainless steel cleaner that I actually enjoy using and that isn't streaky this is it, the Scotch Guard. So I'm gonna have all the links below. Now it's time to clean the microwave. So I just took out the glass turning and the cover that we use to avoid splatters and wash both of those before wiping down the microwave. And I just used hot water and a cloth for the first round. And then I used just a dry paper towel to wipe everything down once it was clean. So before I tidied the toaster oven there, I also cleaned off our whiteboard where I plan my meals. Um, and then now I'm going in for the toaster oven. And this is just like a weekly maintenance. I'm not going in and cleaning too much, but I'm just getting rid of all the crumbs, wiping down the stainless and making sure that it looks decent. If you want to see a full how to save your toaster oven, that's probably my most popular video right now. And I will link that below because the transformation is quite insane. I thought we we're gonna have to throw this toaster oven out and it is back to its normal color. So I will link that below as per usual. And now I'm back into the fridge and I am wiping down all the shelves, which were pretty bare because I do this clean before the weekly grocery shop and we had already emptied out all of those leftover containers. So now it was time just to wipe everything down and make sure that we were ready to actually go grocery shopping and prep our produce for the week, which we actually did right after filming this video. And yeah, it feels really good to come home to a clean kitchen to put everything away.
Thank you.